Okay, let's analyze yesterday's game. Um, I had a 89.7 accuracy, my opponent 84. So pretty close. My rating is estimated at 23.50, so chess.com being generous once again. Uh, my opponent 2100. So yeah, let's see how the game uh, went and uh, what I could learn from this. So against the English, I like to go for the yeah, kind of Karakhan uh, setup. And could have been a little more active here, but I think that my opponent is a uh, lot higher rated, so let's be solid. Yeah, this was uh, quite an important moment in the game. I felt like doubling up his pawns here was uh, was alright. Um, I was always aware that his rook uh, could have this open file, so I wasn't sure if I was going to castle there. So I just uh, played some other moves. Yeah, the engine just likes castling here. This is inaccurate, although it's just 0.5, so it's uh, nothing much. The mistakes happened later in the game. Yeah, so uh, this was one of the main things. I would like to capture towards the center, but yeah, that just loses a queen. So couldn't do that. Uh, so that's probably also a reason why this is uh, not the best move. But still, I could recapture with the knight, which was the best move. I wasn't really afraid of this because I felt like I would get the open file. Let's see what the engine thinks. Yeah, just bishop back and I have the open file. I can always castle queen side, uh, which is safe enough. Uh, meanwhile, if he wants to castle, he's also going queen side. So he's probably not going to attack here. Although maybe his king stays in the center because this is actually quite a safe setup, uh, <laughs> which I can't break through easily. Um... But yeah, that didn't happen in the game. Steady that does. And I felt like just trading off his bishop was uh, right here. And the engine agrees. Uh, yeah, this bishop is just uh, a really good bishop. So trading it off is, uh, is fine. That's what I did. Engine still uh, likes this. It's still an equal position. Brought the other knight in. And here are basically committed to castling kingside. And... Yeah, it, I thought it wasn't so dangerous anymore, but later it turned out that uh, it's still quite tricky. So here pushes pawn, I ignored that, which was alright. And after he pushes, I pushed. So still it's equal, it's minus 0.1, but yeah, that's what I call equal. And yeah, I was actually curious in some positions, so like yeah, here already. I was trying to make this sacrifice, uh, sorry, one more fact. I was trying to make the sacrifice work. I noticed that if he took like this, uh, no, sorry, not in this position. Where was it? Here. Um, so I noticed that if he would take like this, I would win a knight back and that would just be uh, rushing. Uh, but yeah, he, he could take like this and I didn't feel like there was anything here and the engine agrees. It's just, uh, I've just lost the knight. So it, I was trying to make it work, but I, uh, I couldn't. So I'm glad I didn't play it. Uh, and calculated it. So yeah, this was all alright. This was a blunder, yeah. <laughs> I completely missed that he could just take the pawn and which is quite a bad blunder, but that's that's the first thing you uh, you would check. Uh like you're moving a piece, can he take that piece? So oh, I don't know what I did. I'm back to the beginning of the game. Let's just go to this moment. Uh so here. Yeah, so we did take, and I felt like I was completely losing here, and yeah, I didn't know what to do. Played this, which was, which was right. I could have brought my knight back to defend the pawn, but I felt like, yeah, that's just really passive, and I'm I'm down a pawn, he is attacking, so that, that wouldn't be good. And I was really sure he was just going to take another pawn, uh, but he didn't, and yeah, that's a miss, actually, so... I'm glad he uh, he didn't. And uh, now this was again a mistake. Let's see what the engine says. Knight here. He did play that in the game, right? Yeah. I know the engine wanted his bishop to go back. So this strat is still something. Yeah. Uh, by the way, his strat is to take here. Notice that's a, that this pawn is pinned. Um. I'm wondering if he can actually sack his queen here. Let's see. No, he can't, apparently. But maybe there was some discoveries here, but uh, yeah, there's not enough pieces uh, attacking. 
But after here, uh, he could take with the queen. So if I go for something like this, I think, yeah, it's actually the best move. Uh, threatening check made me while my knight is still hanging. So I've just lost the piece and probably the game very soon. Yeah, I took the pawn here, which felt quite dangerous, but the engine still thinks it's best. The knight is defending here, well, otherwise it would be checkmate. So uh, but yeah, I noticed he can't really attack this knight. Like he can attack it with a rook, but then the checkmate check threat is gone because the rook is no longer here. Um, and he can't play this because I could take it with a pawn. So I felt like it was the best try. And then here... It's actually back to equal again, and I didn't really think it would be, but uh, yeah, I find the right idea. And yeah, it's just equal here. So yeah, um, again, material-wise, it's it's still equal. So uh, maybe I uh, I underestimated my position. So yeah, going for that one was alright. And then here, my opponent just uh, uh, yeah went for some. Weird idea. I mean, I saw this, and this is just a trade, basically, and I felt like, okay, I can just push my pawn, which was the only move, by the way, yeah. And, yeah, it's all right, and I was already thinking, okay, if I can now trade queens, I'm, I'm fine. I was still thinking I was losing, so I really wanted to trade queens just to stop his attack. Uh, but here he uh, made the sacrifice, which, <laughs> which is funny. Um, it's an equal position, and after the sacrifice, it's still an equal position, and the engine calls it brilliant. Uh, but this was actually what lost him uh, the game in the end. I guess the reason it's brilliant is because he just has a draw here. Um, which I, I wouldn't call this brilliant, uh, because he if he doesn't play it, it's still a draw. It's just an equal position. Uh, but yeah, chess.com is, uh, is funny. So he does this, and the idea is that he can just go there and, uh, yeah, basically go for the for the draw, which I was fine with, with because again I thought I was losing uh, all this time. So I was like, okay, he's gonna go for the draw, and then he uh, played king e2, and at first I was like, okay, uh, am I not winning now? And then I realized, okay, he is threatening this, so what can I do? Uh, I was thinking about about this uh, a lot, but then I noticed, yeah, this is just bad. But then I realized I can actually play this. And at first I didn't think I could play this because this would pin my queen, but I noticed that the rook would not be defended. Uh, so here I, uh, I realized I was winning. Uh, but at the same time, I only had one and a half minute on the clock while he had almost six. So I still felt like... If anyone was going to win, it would probably be him uh, on time. Uh, because, yeah, he, he still has some threats. And, uh, yeah, he, he immediately threatened something because now this was a pin. Now, I was aware of this because I was thinking about this before. So I moved my king, which is best. And here I felt like, let's just go for another queen trade. And, yeah, the position is minus four here. Um... I am completely winning, and my opponent actually resigned, but like I said in the game, I I felt like he shouldn't resign here, because I'm only, uh, I only have one and a half minute on the clock, um, so even though positionally he is lost, uh, he should definitely try to, uh, to win on time, uh, or maybe to draw, because yeah, I'm low on time, so I might make some mistakes, so uh, yeah, I would have played on in this position, uh, definitely, but uh, yeah, of course... Uh, from the other side, I'm glad he, uh, he didn't, because uh, in the end, his resignation uh, won me the game. So, uh, yeah, pretty interesting game. Um, basically equal the whole way through until he uh, he tried to be fancy. He saw something w which wasn't there. And uh, so, yeah, it, I was lucky winning this. Uh, but yeah, those count as well. So I'm glad I won. And uh, let's see what we can do next week. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.